Welcome to another video about Microsoft Word. In this video will be talking all about the Home tab. Why is it called the Home tab? Because that's where we go the most often. Just like in our lives, we go home more than anywhere anywhere else. Uh, that's that's why we call it the Home tab. We go here a lot. Um, over here on the left, you'll see our Undo and Redo button. So if I type something in, and I'm like, oh, oops, I actually delete it. I can now go Undo. That's we always also learn the Control Z, Control Y keyboard shortcut. That takes care of that. This is our clipboard. We can copy and paste something, a copy, and if we want to paste it a bunch of times, we can just use this paste button, which is really nice. Uh, the format painter, I'll show you in a minute. Just hold on to that. We can also, this is our font section. Whenever we type in something, we can highlight it, triple click, select multiple words, and then we can change this font size, font color, font style, font type. Uh, you can bold it under italicize or underline it. You can make it one size bigger by clicking right here, one size smaller by clicking right here. Uh, you can also highlight it, put kind of a streak on the back. Over Now we're moving to the paragraph section. This is how you center a line. Uh, this is how you put bullet points. So if I want to put bullet points below this, um, teacher, father, father, um, husband okay. or you can make the you can highlight a list or you can make it be one two three uh, you can write a line left a line center line. usually we do left um, middle line uh, this is what's called line spacing if I want more space in between my list I just highlight my list and go to line spacing and then just choose how much spacing I want in between my my lines um, that's really all we'll need for this class. In high school, take a class where you'll go over a lot more of these. This is just kind of hitting the main ones. Um, if you have, if you're writing a book, book of life, and you want that to be the title style, you just go over here to styles, click on title, and then uh, if you want to have, ever see a red squiggly line? That means you spelled something wrong or there's a typo. Uh, written by me, I like that. And that can be a subtitle, um, or if you have a quote, do your best, or get the rest. You can highlight, you can highlight that, and click this down arrow and do a quote, kind of makes it more uh, quote style. And that, my friend, is really all, oh, Format Painter, almost forgot. Our last little one. So we have all this really cool styling on my name. I want to make this down here look like that. I don't have to go through all of those steps that I did. I can first select that, click on Format Painter, and then click and drag over something, and it'll change it to that same font style. And that's the Home tab, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about just getting familiar, looking around, and finding what we're looking for. There's a lot here, but after a little bit of time, you will become a pro.